Just a, um, a small correction to add to the last tutorial. Um, when I was labeling the axes, what I forgot to do, which I need to do, which is very important, is add in the units for square root mass. So I've got my square root mass, I've got my m to the power of a half, but I'm missing the units. So being the square root of mass, that means that the units will be the square root of kilograms. So square root kilograms can be written as kilograms to the power of a half. And that completes my, my graph with the correct axis labels. From this point forward, if you're doing the AES 2.1 practical for level two physics, then you would look at comparing um, your equation that you've got experimentally to the theoretical equation which will be supplied and if you're doing the 3.1 internal for level 3 physics then you would need to go and look at the uncertainties for period and square root mass and use those uncertainties to calculate um, the error bars for your graph. From that point forward you could then work out the line of best fit and use that with your line of worst fit to determine the uncertainty in the gradient. That will all come in future tutorials.